Moving on to doing the lower ball joint here. I started taking it apart earlier. I didn't videotape any of it, but I got the tie rod off and the wheel off. Uh, tie rod's pretty big to take off. Basically, you're just going to beat on it. You're going to loosen the nut, put the nut back on, and beat on both the knuckle here and then on to here. Hit it with your purse. Give it a good hit. And, um, yeah, just, yeah, it'll, it'll pop apart. You just keep hitting it, really. Give it a good hit. And um, then I soaked everything in penetrating oil. I soaked this here pin. And then um, I soaked both the nuts and the ball joints in the back here. And uh, I'm going to start taking that apart now. So I was just kind of playing with the cotter pin here. Just making sure it didn't come loose after soaking in the penetrating oil. I can't move it around a bit with my hand. So I'm hoping it should pop up pretty good. I got a little hole finder tool here. Got my, my look like I broke out of jail, eh? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna stick that hole finder in the end of the cotter pin and I'm gonna hit it with the hammer. It should pop it out of there. I thought I got some other techniques, but hopefully that works. I'm gonna get something bigger. So it's just another hole finder. It's got a bit of a bend on it. And um, I'm actually gonna put the tire rod back on to hold that. on the edge of the brake caliper here, the brake brake rotor and I pry it on it and pop it just walk out of here. There you go. Alright so I bought some sockets last week for that just got the average size well we'll make it sure. So I bought this here on Amazon. Just a cheap set. I think it was like 60 bucks not too bad. Something I'm gonna use all the time, so it's not like I want to spend a bunch of money on it. Check, check 111 16 I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. That fits great. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, the impact will pull that off. Actually, I broke my purse a little bit here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull the brake caliper off now. So I 18 mil, two 18 mil bolts in the back. Nonsense. 
Now that socket is going to be so hot. I don't want to put it on impact. So. Somehow, I like to I keep a strap like this around. We do this some way to help it. I'm not really sure yet. This is going to be something. Get this ABS wire off here. We're going up the hole right now. I'm taking the ball joints off. They'll take it all fall with one piece. No big deal. I do need to get it one off on the other side because I need to change the uh, the U joints going on the far side. The both ball joints are like the uh, max money and they have a quarter pin on them. They're like bend straight and then try and try out. This one's not coming out because the other one it snapped on me there. I got it. This guy grabbed me trying on it. Now I'm not sure what size this is, but. I think we want to be able to fit a wrench into the top one, so that's probably going to suck. Okay, I don't really have the right size. Close the size I got is an inch and one sixteenth. It's uh, off by a bit, but um, it, it does seem like it's going to work. ball joint off. The lower one appears to be a little bigger. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's a 30 mil socket. Perfect. Well, whether or not the impact take it off or not, I don't know, but
the usual procedure for taking stuff like this off. You can put the knot back on a bit so it doesn't drop on the floor and break stuff, whatever, whatever. Put the nut back on a bit and then basically it's going to start beating everything on this. Yeah, I really don't know. It's... Actually, I'm going to start with the air hammer. fork in there since uh, it's already a bad ball joint it doesn't really matter if I run the seal on it or anything like that so I'm gonna stick the ball joint in there ball joint fork in there I'm gonna beat the living hell out of it Sometimes you just need a little more persuasion. You gotta hit it though. I'm gonna have to disconnect this wheel sensor. I didn't think about that until now, but it's gonna come off with the with the wheel bearing pulling out all at once. Let's see this little connector up here is just gonna push on and pull. Wow. That connector see better days. All right, the uh, camera died. I'm not really sure I left off here, but um, I put a bolt, big bolt with a nut in the back here, and then you tighten that up, and it's gonna, the big bolt's gonna push the rotor off when you tighten this nut up. The bolt's gonna go in, and it's gonna force that rotor off. Well, that was the plan, but uh, that wasn't really what happened. It actually split the wheel bearing in half. The half the wheel bearing's still on the rotor. Another half, I just finished getting it off now. I used um, an air chisel and then hammers and the bolt in the back of here. And you can see it's still smoking. I heated up a whole bunch as hot as I can get it, really. It was kind of tough to get off. It's uh, kind of expected. It's got 330,000 kilometers in the northern Ontario, lots of salt. So, yeah, now we're ready to pull the, uh, the knuckle off and the axle out of there. Okay, so I popped the nut off the bottom, the bottom ball joint, lower ball joint here. Then slid the spindle down off and pulled the axle or drive axle at the same time. And um, yeah, that's what we're looking at here. Let's see, it's definitely finished. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe the shop got it wrong and it was the wheel bearing actually. Time to tackle the lower ball joint here. I got my uh, ball joint press here. It's basically just a. Uh, Big C clamp, a bunch of different little adapters, spacers, and stuff to fit in there for different ball joints. And then you ratchet it down and put your impact on it, press it out of there. Um, I've been soaking it in penetrating oil because I figure it's probably in there pretty good. It's pretty rusty. And it almost looks like it might be the original ball joint. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I changed them though when I owned this truck before, so I don't, I don't think so, but it's definitely old. You might notice the Panda Custom shirt. I just picked them up yesterday. Got um, all different sizes, men's, women's. Uh, the women's we have in uh, black and blue. 
same thing. Just uh, I'll, I'll put some pictures up, but it's the same thing. Just uh, a, a blue blue shirt with the black and green logo on it. Uh, they're twenty bucks. Just uh, I got the new ball joint out here. Just taking a look at it. It's kind of cool. It comes with the uh, they call it a, a boot staller. They've always you just install the boot. You put it on there. You give it a tap with rubber mallet. I've always used a PVC pipe I got lying around here somewhere. Works pretty good if you don't have one of these. But uh, it's pretty handy to keep this. And, uh, I'm just starting to dig out the off the ball joint here. It's all rusted and caked in dirt. I can't really see. There's a clip in there, a C clip I gotta get out. You can't really see it for all the dirt and rust in there. So I'm just cleaning that out of there. Use a bit of brake cleaner and scrape out the screwdriver, get it all out of there, and try and get that clip out. So I dug out that C clip and. Um, it didn't come out very good. I, I couldn't even find the hole in it. It was all rusted. It was full of dirt. I found the hole, but I couldn't open it up enough to get anything into it. So then I started chipping at it, and it would just break out in little pieces. I ended up getting it all stuck in there. I chipped it all the way around. There's a little piece of water there. I don't want But um, now I, I've started looking at different adapters and stuff here to press it out. I thought that one's going to fit on top, and then now I just need to fit one over the bottom that isn't going to hit. Those press against that and push her out. Big drop. And then press this Alright, we'll get back to it. Not forcing around me. This is the setup I got going for the ball joint press here. Um, I've had to switch this top piece around a bunch of times just to get it in there right. <laughs> I just finished heating up as you see it smokes when I touch it and I'm going to try and give it another go and I'm hoping it comes out here. Cleaned it up a bit. Um, just wiped it with paper towel here. And then um, I'm just kind of looking to see if I made any marks that I could maybe fix with a punch or something like that. A file, whatever. And um, let me see how the new one fits. So it seems to be a nice fit. There is um, there's a couple marks that I'm going to fix. One thing I wanted to know, I noticed the old ball joint looks the same as the new one. Actually, no, it's a little different, but anyways, there's a spot right here where you put a grease zerk. I don't know if you can see, but it threads in there, and the old one is the same, but it does not have no grease zerk. So whoever installed this failed to install the grease zerk, and if they did that, I doubt they greased it. So I can see why it failed. That's sad. Well, we're gonna 
So I got a small punch. I'm just gonna go around those spots where I made no marks. It's not too much. I'm just gonna see if I can just fix it up a bit. I can probably do without doing this, but I don't want to get to the point where it's almost in and then I'm still gonna get it in the rest of the way. That's what she said, I guess. Wow, that's good. Now with this out, it'll be a little easier to read for me. Get the right size. Here. Have your safety glass on for this clip. Why? Pop glass and tool here. You need a little C clip tool like this. You could you possibly do it there to uh, hole finders and stretch it, but it'd definitely be tough. It's a bit bigger of a clip. Well, it looks like you gotta put the these zerk the nipple. You gotta put the nipple in before you can put the clip in. Whatever that means. Do you nip it before you do your clip? See, that's how you got glass. Alright, so the grease zerk's a 10 mil, I mean, sorry. The grease zerk's an 8 mil. Got a socket and extension here. Might not be able to use the extension. This is a screwdriver handle, so it's handy to forget a socket. It doesn't have to be too tight, I don't want to snap it off. But, um, it's in there at least now. The last one didn't have no grease, so this should work good. It should be a half track. Alright, now, so before I forget, we're going to grease that. Got the ball joint greased up. It's all ready to put the, uh, the spindle here back on. And then um, I should have the wheel bearing here tomorrow, and I'll install that then. I'm going to try out this here boot staller, see how that goes. As handy as this boot staller is, it's still not the easiest thing in the world. I should have jacked it up higher. I wasn't thinking that. Notice the um, the new one doesn't have a crown nut and a cotter pin. It's just a, a lock nut, I guess. So that's kind of a pain to take off the next time. Like the ball joint can just spin. Whereas with this, it's, the nut comes off easy on the lock nut. I'm just working on tightening it up. So I'm inch and one sixteenth the bottom socket here. Actually, no, inch and an eighth. The top one's an inch and one sixteenth. One of my favorite dangerous weapons here. 
and no one would go flying off the million of the hand. Alright, so I could put the axle back in right now, but um, I'm going to stop there just because I snapped the um, quarter pin off the top of the ball joint when I was taking it off, and I don't have any. I, I, I might have some old ones, but I'm going to buy some new ones tomorrow when I pick up the wheel bearing. And then I'll put a new corner pin, new wheel bearing tomorrow, and uh, this side will be complete. We still have the uh, sway bar bushings, track bar bushings. I think that's it. That's it on the front end for now. And uh, we'll just do this, and then I'll, I'll move on from there. He's rowdy. He's rowdy. Hey. Holy. Yeah. He's rowdy. Okay, so I just finished putting anti seize on everything, and I'm um, going to put the axle in, and the wheel bearings going on, and I'm going to get this thing out of here. i got other jobs coming in soon enough, so this needs to go. stuck on the next step. Well, I'm thinking it. I better put a cotter pin in there. In fact, does a pretty good job. All right, so I just got to put the hubcap on. And there starts to be some. I'll warm up for a minute while I do that. And then it's going out.
so it's that. It's all done. Um, you might notice I didn't really put that car pin in right at the end there. But uh, I got to take the wheel off soon anyways, do some other work on it. And it's not going anywhere. It doesn't even have a box on it. Got the box standing up right here beside me. So I'm not really worried about that. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, Old comes back in the shop for another video. Um, we're going to do some work, put a work on this truck. We're going to start with it. Fuck that.